Hello again. Before keep going with the modeling of this part of the trailer, there are two remarks I would like to highlight. The first one is about the modeling of this body here. There is another method that can be used. I would like to show it to you. So for now, I will navigate to this body in the model tree here. And I want just to hide it. So the other approach is to use the edge flange. To do so, I will pick this plane here, and then I will need to pick a corner rectangle, snap to this point, and snap to this edge, and make sure to have this at 2000 millimeters. Once it's done, make sure it's selected here, and then select base flange. We just need to double check for the direction and we need to reverse the direction and to make sure merge result is not selected. Then hit OK. And now from edge flange, simply select this edge here, drag it a little bit up and let's say I want the length of this edge flange to be 150 and here you can control the angle. And let's have a closer look here. As you can see, we have interference. So we can solve this problem by selecting this option, material outside. But as you can see, still we have some kind of interference. So we can go with this option. In a sense, maybe this is a faster and easier way to, to create this part. It can be used. And for this reason, I wanted to show you both methods. So for now, I need to delete the last two features I used because I will stick to the one I created first. So if I go back to the model tree, I can show this part I created. Also, when it comes to the web, for now, I will need to isolate these three bodies. And I will hide this one. If you remember, I created a rectangle and I needed to make it centered between these two flanges. The other approach is to use the thin feature. So it will save you some time and instead of worrying about centering the rectangle. So just snap to the midpoint here and snap to the midpoint here. Make sure the sketch is selected and this time go to features and let's extrude this but you need to make sure to select, you need to make sure that up to surface is selected and select this face here. And for direction two, we need to do the same. At this point, you should really be careful about the direction of the thickness because thin feature option is automatically selected. Now, we have the option of one direction. We have mid plane, which is the one we or which is the one we desire, and the third one is two direction, which means you can specify a thickness to the left and another thickness to the right. For our case, what works best is the mid plane, and in the end, we have link to thickness option selected which means this will be 10 millimeters now when it comes to length to thickness i want you to keep in mind this will be always linked to the thickness of the sheet metal parts you created so if you come here we have this feature here if you edit this feature you will see that the sheet metal thickness is 10 millimeters so whenever you face length to thickness it will be always 10 millimeters as indicated in this part so these are two other methods of creating the web and the plate of the kingpin. I will delete this one as well. I will exit the isolate. Now, if we have a look here, we have this channel. So let's replace it in our model. I will start with a sketch on this face. And I'll select this point. It doesn't really matter to which point you go at this point, so I will leave it something like this. If you want the sketch to be fully constrained, 
Maybe you will need to make this coincident with this edge here. Now from the weldments, select structural member and let's select UPN and here 140 and then select this line you created. Now let's have this view here. And as you can see we need to rotate this section so when it comes to the angle here we need it to be 180 to be totally the opposite. Now it's in the right place. Hit OK and we need to make sure that it ends here at the end plate and it starts here at this at this end plate. So select trim extend, select this body and for the trimming boundary make sure to select faces or face. So select this one and select this one. By doing this there will always be a relationship between the end of the U channel and the end plate here and the end plate here. Now as you may have noticed we have some kind of interference here. Now to deal with it let's select once again the front plane and if we come here if we show the hidden lines visible we need to make some kind of cut so we need to snap to this point and there's no problem if you go all the way down and close the sketch this way make sure to have this line vertical I will place a point here and I need it to be coincident with this edge and it will be coincident as well with the line we created. So it will be here. And I need to keep a distance of 3 millimeters. It will be like it will act as a clearance distance here. So instead of going into the details of the pattern of this feature, which is the cut here, I highly recommend you to create a center line here and then select mirror entities and then let's mirror it about this line hit OK and with this sketch selected let's hit extruded cut and let's do it through all both and now it's very important to define the bodies you want to cut so from feature scope let's select selected bodies open the tree here and let's navigate to the ipe 80 select this part hold hold shift and select the last one then hit ok now we should have the cut on both sides. Here we have the cut with this small clearance. It will be handy when it comes to welding these two bodies together. And now we need to select mirror and we need to select the right plane. And for bodies to mirror this time, we need to select this channel. Hit OK. Now let's double check. We have the same clearance here, everything is fine. Now one last time let's go to the evaluate tab and let's check for interference. As you can see we don't have any interference which means the model is clean, which is good. Now I don't really want to have this color here, so instead of navigating to it, simply click here and from appearance remove all part appearances hit ok now when it comes to giving colors it's not only about giving this part of the trailer or any part you create a nice look you can take advantage of coloring these items in this case i would love to give the same color to the identical parts for example 
I have these two parts, they are identical. So in this case, let's drag this a little bit here, open this arrow, and when it comes to appearance, give it any random color. Let's start with this one, for example. And to this one, let's paste it. Now we have the same. We're done with this. And now I will do the same for the rest of the bodies. All the identical bodies will have the same color. This will help you to visualize like the amount of symmetry you have. So I'm done with this one. So six, we have six elements here. Select the first one, hold shift, the last one, and appearance, select body. Now when you are done with coloring all the bodies, through the process I figured out I have some kind of extra bodies, which is here and here. And the reason why I have these, when we created the cut here, it took the shape of the eye section. That's why it didn't take into account for the rest of the sheet up to this point. Now to deal with this problem you have two options. You can create another extruded cut and remove them, or simply you can select this body it will be here and here, these two. Then right click and let's do delete. Make sure to select delete. Then hit OK. After all that, if you're interested in calculating the mass, which I think is very important in the end, you can edit material from this menu here. And in this case, usually it's some kind of ASTM A36 steel. Apply, hit OK. You can change the units to MK and for the mass properties first always you need to make sure that the density is a correct number which is 7850 kilogram, kilograms per, per cubic meter which is okay for this kind of steel and now we know that the total mass of this trailer part is around 2857 kilograms this ends the modeling of this part. Starting from now, we will talk about how to take advantage of the master model technique and how we will deal with the drawing, the assembly files, alongside with the cutting files.